皆さんこんにちは、ミサです。Today's video is about the haunting incident that took place at Kisaragi Station, Japan. This is going to be a podcast video where I narrate the story and you guys are free to use your imagination in your brain. The reason I make such videos is because on the internet there are hardly any clips available for such horror stories. And that too are not copyright free, so I hope you understand and enjoy this podcast. Shall we begin? Hajime m a s h o k a So sit back, close your eyes, relax, and enjoy the podcast. The Haunted Incident of Kisaragi Station, based on a true story that occurred in Japan. Around the year 2004, there used to be an online portal in Japan called Tuchan. You can think of it as the Japanese Twitter. On this portal, people used to create pages on various topics and then used to connect with each other. It was just like any other social media platform. One of such pages was Post Strange Occurrences Around You. On 8th of January 2004, a user named Hasmi started writing a real time post on this page, wherein she was asking for help from the other users. She started typing everything that was happening with her at that very moment. While the other users tried to help her out with the situation, Hasmi's first message appears on the portal. Um, I don't know if it's just my imagination, but I want to share something with you all. Something very strange that's happening with me right now. Hasmi explains I boarded this train on Sin Hamatsu Station. Maybe around 11 o'clock at night, and it's been 20 minutes since I've bought it, but this train is not stopping. I mean, it doesn't seem to stop anywhere, not even a single station. I usually board this train to home after my work, but it never ever passed through a tunnel before. But today, I, I just don't get it, it's passing through a tunnel. Another user on Tu Chan replies Hasumi that she must go to the first coach and knock the door of driver's compartment. On which Hasumi replies, I did. I really did go on the first coach. I knocked over there, but there was no reply. There was also, since the window was made up of black glass, I was not able to see anything of inside. Just after a few minutes, another message was dropped by Hasumi saying, Oh my goodness, it seems like the train has started slowing down. It has just crossed the tunnel and. Ah, wait! It's a station! The name is. What's written? It's. Kisa. Kisaragi. Kisaragi Station. Now, the other users were giving a variety of opinions, saying she must not step out of the train until anybody else does. While some said that she must get off quickly and search for help. Hasmi drops another message. I've never heard of this station before. I don't think it's safe, but it has never appeared before on my route to home. And I wonder where I am. And I tried waking up the other people, other five people out there in this compartment, but they are all asleep. And no matter how much I try, They're not waking up. A random user replied that it was strange what was happening with her. But she must not get off the train in that case. Rather, why not wait for the last station? And with all this variety of opinions and confused atmosphere, Hasmi decided to get off on the station and ask for help. As soon as she stepped out, the train started moving again. Hasmi then types another message, 
saying, There's... There's nobody here. Not even a single person. I checked almost everywhere. What do I do now? Hasmi was left alone on the deserted station. The train had gone and she was all alone. One hour has passed. The strange incident started happening to Hasmi. One user on 2chan wrote Hasmi that she searched everywhere on the internet, but there wasn't even a single station named that, as she mentioned, Kisaragi. Not even a single station. Another user asks Hasumi if she could find a building or something like that nearby, on which Hasumi replies that she'll check it out when she steps out of the station. After a few while, Hasumi replies, there's absolutely nothing here. No building, no vehicle, no human, nothing. Where am I? The Tuchan user suggests Hasmi that she must search for a police station nearby or call the police and ask for help. While the other said that she must find a taxi or call a taxi company and just get a cab. while the other said that she must call a taxi company and have a cab. No sooner, Hasmi leaves another message. I call the police, but they don't seem to believe me. They're saying that there's no such station, so they think I'm pranking. They have cut the phone and they have warned me not to call again. But I've called my father. He said that he'll find my location and Soon after finding my location on the map, he'll come to my rescue. She ends the message saying, This is getting scarier. I don't get what to do. I just don't get what's happening here. Other two chan user tried to console her. By the time, a user drops a message saying, That she found the kanji for honey, which is read as demon, in Japanese can also be pronounced Kisaragi in other way which means that the name of the station Kisaragi station meant the demons station after hearing this Hasmi and other were seriously scared one of the users suggested Hasumi that she must follow back the track she came from. Maybe that will lead her back to where she started, right from where she boarded the train. That seemed like a good idea. And so, Hasumi did the exact same. While this time, some Tuchan users started questioning if Hasumi was pranking with them. Because now it was getting scarier and it couldn't be tolerated, of course. And they said that if she's pranking, she must stop it right here. On which Hasmi replies, No, leave me. I'm not lying. I'm getting scared. I really am here in this unknown place. The police didn't believe me. It's just you guys that are leaving me in hand. And if you won't stop believing me, I'll be completely helpless. Please. Help me. Please leave me. After this convincing message, Toshan users really believed that Hasmi was indeed in trouble. Here comes another message from Hasmi saying, I've been walking a long distance, but there's no sign of neither human nor a building near me. All I can see is grasses and a few dark mountains surrounding me. Hasmi also says that My dad did call me back, but he said that he couldn't find my location even on the map. I'm losing my hope. One of the two chan users replies that Hasmi should have stayed at the station. She should have waited for morning. Hasmi leaves another message saying, 
I can't see any ray of hope. Hey, I, I can hear some sound. Drums, r rings. It's something like that. A voice like coming from far. What should I do? Tu Shan Yuzu replied that it would be best if Hasmi should go back to the station. Just when a message appears from Hasmi, she says, I was walking on the track when an old voice echoed from my back. It said something like, Don't follow the track. I turned immediately and saw an old man with just one leg. That was so scary. And before I could talk to him, he, he just disappeared. In front of my eyes, I saw him disappearing. Wait a minute. Am I hallucinating? Was it just my imagination? What's going on here? Hasmi was very scared at that moment. She sat at the very same place and started crying. <laughs> I'm gonna go back. What's happening? I wanna go back home. <laughs> she typed. I'm tired. I need water. I'm, I'm getting dehydrated. And I can't walk anymore. This, this dark track, it doesn't seem to end anywhere. Someone, please help me. I beg you. The users were also damn scared at what was happening with that girl. One of them suggested that Hasmi must not turn back at any cost. Just run with all your energy towards the sound of the drums and bells, as maybe there's a possibility that she may finally find humans over there. Hasmi replies that while running, she stumbled and fell down. Ah! Oh. Stone pierced my heel. Oh, it's bleeding badly. I can't walk. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Hasmi also said that she got a call from her dad. He said that he has convinced the police and they are trying to find her location. But with each passing second, Hasmi was losing her hope. She replied, The voices, they're coming closer. Thankfully, Hasmi somehow managed to reach the tunnel. She walked inside the tunnel, hoping that the voices that was coming closer was at least not of a train approaching her. Hasmi leaves another message, but this time, it gave a relief. Hasmi wrote in the message, oh, Finally, I've crossed the tunnel, and I'm here at its almost end. Thank God, I met a guy here. I'm glad I have someone to ask for help. To this, one random user replied that she must not go to that person. I wonder what he might be doing at such late night at the end of a tunnel. That doesn't seem right. However, Hasmi could barely control her happiness of meeting another human and she asked for his help. Hasmi's next message said something like, I asked for his help. He was really kind. 
Right now, I'm in his car. And he agreed to give me a lift. The Tuchan user asks Hasumi to inquire the person about his name and the location where she was. Maybe he would tell him something important. To this, Hasumi replied. Um, I asked his name and the location as you said, but he didn't speak a word except Hina. I don't know what it means. Also, he has stopped responding to me anything. Neither he let me know his name. I, I wonder if he's not able to understand my language. He's all silent now. This is scary. I shouldn't be here with him. Hasmi started panicking and she wrote. This is getting worse. He's driving in the opposite direction, right from where I came. He's taking me back to the station. I can see the same grassy steep mountains crossing the path once again. No, I don't want to go back there. He's not listening to what I'm saying. He's not stopping the car either. How do I save myself? I should have not. I should have not asked for a lift. Most of the two Chan users recommended her to get off the car as early as possible, not miss even a single chance. If possible, hit that person and get hold of the car. Or just jump out of the car, but don't let him take you back there. Something's really wrong with that guy. Hasmi replied. Oh, no, M my phone. Its battery is about to die. I... This was her last message. Hasmi never replied again. Though the two Chan users kept saying, Hasmi, Hasmi, are you there? You okay? But there was no reply. What happened to Hasmi? Who was that strange guy? And the station? The Kisaragi station? Does it even exist? Or as Hasmi said in the beginning, is this just all her imagination? She could be mentally ill, and if not, is she safe or not? Will she ever be able to return? These questions remain unanswered forever. Now the fact is that the user, he or she, whoever was constantly typing as Hasmi, was real or not. We don't even know that. Because the other two Chan users were so busy helping her out that none of them actually got a chance to even ask for Hasmi's family or her other information. And Hasmi's incident remained a complete mystery, an unsolved mystery. Now people on the internet gave two theories for this incident. The first says that this was simply a prank at the worst. Maybe done by a young girl or a young boy. And soon, due to the fear of being taken a serious action, he or she deleted the account very soon after the last message. While the other theory says that Hasmi was indeed a girl who was cursed. This made her board the train, which took her to the Kisaragi station, the demon world. Maybe the tunnel was a bridge which made the train travel into a different portal, a different dimension. You know, this is all physics. The second theory also says that because the curse took her to the demon world where no human could live, of course, Hasmi hence could not see any humans nor buildings over there. Now the second theory says that because the curse took her to a demon world where no human could live, Hasmi could not find any human nor building over there. Now the old man was also a ghost indeed. However, Hasmi was able to travel to the tunnel but the guy took her back in the opposite direction so that she could never go back to the human world. Indeed he himself was a ghost, isn't it? Maybe 
He was once a human who ended up coming here under the influence of a curse and became a ghost after his death. And if that's true, Hasmi would also sooner or later end up becoming that. Maybe after this event, Hasmi was most probably killed, maybe by the same guy or she could have never escaped out of the haunted Hisaragi station. Now the last theory related to these incidents, which I find is quite logical and up to the reality, says that maybe Hasmi boarded a wrong train. And she had never boarded this train before, so the scenery around her seemed very unfamiliar. The train ended up as its last station, which was a remote area in Japan. And evidently, we see tunnels in the mountainous region, right? And as far as the name of the station is concerned, obviously no station is named the Demon Station, but it could have happened that because Hashmi was panicked, she might have read it wrong. There is indeed a possibility. And as said earlier, since it was a remote and a rural area located small old station, Hasmi could not see buildings nearby and also no humans. And of course, as she said, that she boarded the train after her work around 11 and it was very late, there's hardly a possibility that she could find humans at late night in a remote area, isn't it? I hope it makes sense. Now Hasmi herself described that the person who was giving her lift could not understand what she was saying. Now she said that there were only grasses and mountains and these descriptions really match the fact that the area was a remote area. And the reason why he was taking her back to the station was probably because he must have thought that Hasmi is a foreigner, a visitor and she has come at the wrong place and she wants to board the train, of course. Now maybe if Hasmi stayed at the same station for the whole night and waited for the morning, then this all could have been avoided. Then she could have seen some human crowd or even trains returning. All this could have been avoided only if she had not left the station at late night. And what about the old man? Um, no idea. A voice came, an old man disappeared. This old description sounds very far from reality. But one most probable justification to it could be that since the story was spread from one mouth to another mouth and it was translated from Japanese into so many languages and it was narrated several times, it could have happened that there were several changes made into the stories than what actually happened. Today the story we hear might be completely different from what actually happened. Maybe the incident wasn't this scary or maybe it could have happened that Hasmi did return home back after some time. Who knows? This story could have been exaggerated 20 times, 30 times, God knows. We have least idea of what really did happen that day. Or maybe this was actually a prank, which slowly transformed into a serious haunted story like this in some years. Now my question to you all is, what do you think? Let your creative mind put forward some interesting theories in the comments box. It would be fun to have a spooky conversation on this topic. And do let me know if you have some spooky incident that happened with you. I'm eager to know. Do you guys want more such podcasts from Japan? Let me know. Lastly, subscribe for more, hit the like button, and what are you waiting for? Share the story with your friends and discuss the horror. Bye-bye. Matane.